Did you know that there is a huge bluff in the San Juan Islands called Lover's Leap? Well, with that name, we had to go explore. But we didn't find any lovers. But what we did find was an amazing vista and a story of one very lucky boy who survived a fall over Suicide Bluff. But this is Stewart Island, and we are going into Reed Harbor, which we're quite excited to. You got Mount Baker there in the distance, which is beautiful. But yeah, we're going to Reed Harbor. We're going to be here for two nights. I'm going to check things out, going to do the walk to the lighthouse, and we can't wait for you guys to come along with us. Do some exploring of Stewart Island. Just got to find the dinghy dock. You guys found the dinghy dock, didn't you? We found it way back in the corner. Back in the corner. Way back. The next day we left Reed Harbor and headed off to find Lover's Leap. From everything we've read, it was a seven and a half mile round trip hike. When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. We just met a lovely lady who directed us on this trail, which is the Ridge Trail, which means we don't have to go down all the steps to the road. We just stick on a ridge trail. It's more trail and it comes right out oh, right at the schoolhouse. I don't know which way to go. Lover's Lane and wrong turn, killed the girlfriend and then killed himself. There's a camper up there though. I'm dreaming, well, I'm established road to the trip. And I know broke the rule. <laughs> I got that one on video. Oh I mean, see God. it, I recorded it. I think I've sinned on something or something. <laughs> so we are walking over here to Lover's Leap. Blaine, we're lovers. Are you ready to leap? No. Okay. No, I prefer not to. No leaping off Lover's Leap. No. Located in the San Juan Islands, Lover's Leap has been a popular destination for generations of travelers. And for good reason. This cliffside vista offers breathtaking views of the surrounding islands, the Strait of Juan de Fuca, and the Olympic Mountains. Woohoo! This is where we go cliff diving. Ooh. That's cool. Lane, I'm jumping. going to fly the drone off Lover's Leap. The name Lover's Leap comes from, yeah, no clue. I searched everywhere to discover a beautifully romantic yet heartbreaking story and could not find one. What I did discover while touring the Lighthouse Museum is that Lover's Leap had an alternate name, Suicide Bluff. Suicide, it's not Lover's Leap, it's Suicide Bluff. Around 1910, Louis Brochure was the lighthouse keeper and had a family of four kids. The kids were up on Suicide Bluff, rolling rocks off into the water. One kid got a rock started rolling, but was too close to the edge and went over with the rock, right over 
the bluff. It was so steep that he didn't hit the rocks. He fell into the water with the rock. He was so lucky. There was a log. The log came drifting by just a little ways from where he landed in the water, so he paddled over and hung onto it. The other kids ran for dear life down to the keeper's house at the lighthouse and told their dad that Louis Jr. had fallen off the cliff. Louis Sr. got into a skiff and rode as fast as he could over to the bluff. And there was Louis Jr. still clinging to the log. Louis Jr. was saved. Today, Lover's Leap, also known as Suicide Bluff, is considered one of the most beautiful and historic spots in the Pacific Northwest. It's a place that inspires us to appreciate the beauty of nature and to remember Louis Jr., who was damn lucky to survive his fall over Suicide Bluff. We had so much fun checking out Lover's Leap and learning the history of Stewart Island at the Lighthouse Museum. But soon, it was time to head back uphill all the way back to Tangaroa. We have benches. Show-offs. The camera just doesn't do it justice. Down. Up. Down. Bench. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button because, you know what? You don't want to miss another video because who knows where we're going to explore next time. Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day. You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play. I don't know about that. Let's call some friends or the phone.